Hey, this is for your tone poem story um, vocal medium project in GarageBand. Uh, tone poems and stories, uh, as podcasting become, has become more relevant, you've also seen more people who enjoy um, telling stories with adding tone and through music and uh, sound effects. And it's a really, I think it's a really cool way to listen to things like audio books that aren't just people flatly reading to you. Uh, a good example is a podcast called Lore, where he tells stories from the past, but he adds all these effects and stuff, and it's just so enthralling, so much fun to listen to. So I want you to create a tone poem or story uh, of your own. It could be anything that you've chosen. It just needs to be, I mean, it needs to have some length to it. I'm not going to talk about time or anything like that, but it needs to be a full story uh, or a poem, and not a very short poem. Or if it is a short poem, uh, it, it has enough substance to it, and you do enough to it that it doesn't take me five seconds to listen to, that I actually get to enjoy the whole thing. I have an example here. Uh, I don't think this is a great example. It's hard to find a lot of good examples. But you find that a lot of elementary teachers will have done this kind of thing to share books with kids. And actually, you can have that intent in here as well, where you add sounds, um, you don't need to worry about the visual side, but you add sounds and effects as you read the story to kind of highlight things. And we could share this with elementary uh, students as well. That's another idea for what we can do with the project. Uh, so I gave you links to some poems, popular poems. So popular poems that people like to re read aloud. Uh, there's a lot of good ones here. Uh, I would you know go through and see if there's any you like. The Jabberwocky is a classic one. So good. Um... There's also classic short stories. This website looks a little confusing, if but I know I love short stories, and there's so many good ones in here. The Cask of Amontillado is great. Um, any O. Henry ones, I can point you to a short story, and one that won't take you long to do. Uh, oh, Young Goodman Brown, Whew, great one. So these are by the title. Uh, so I can point you in one if you're interested. Uh, the ones I, at least I'm familiar with. I'm not familiar with all these, but I'm familiar with a lot of them. And of course, uh, in, in the modern day, you know, creepypasta is, okay, you can choose one of these as well. Uh, you know, the quality of these sometimes are very lacking. Some are better than others. Um, I obviously want you to choose one that is appropriate, that isn't um, just kind of gruesome and gory just for the sake of being so. Um, so you're going to do that. You're going to go into GarageBand after you choose what you're going to work with. I would use the vo voice setup. Choose. And it gives you a, a couple to work with here. You might want to play with the different ones here. Um, but you're going to record yourself reading. And then you're going to record background music for it. Uh, in the earlier sections like rap and stuff, you know, we talked about different chord progressions. So you can use chord progressions. Um, but look for maybe minors. Don't play in the key of C major. Try like a different key. Uh, minor keys are always like a little bit darker. So you'd like, for example, go to G major and look up G, let's do G minor chord progressions. So they will give you common progressions. So G major to C minor F. And then, you know, we can go over here and look at the piano chords and find those chords, play those chords in the background, uh, and try to find like quiet instrumentation. Depends on what your, your music is, right? Uh, depends on what your tone poem is. But there's a lot you can do uh, as you record your story. So record it, uh, add some music, add some sound effects, um, and just make it really like interesting and engaging to listen to.